In the works is the umbrella title of the most recent undertaking of Shakespeare Festival St. Louis. It's a month-long residency in the Grandel Theater featuring three contemporary plays whose basis is in the works of Shakespeare. On our last program, I raved about the first offering in the series, Into the Breaches. This time, I will rave about a most outrageous fit of madness, mm. a new play for young audience inspired by the Comedy of Errors and written for the festival's education tour. When this review hits cable in the web, there will be one more performance on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I recommend it unreservedly, even if you don't have an elementary schooler to take with you. There's plenty for an adult to enjoy, too, because the adaptation by Nancy Bell is so smart and funny, and the production directed by Gary Lynn Barker is such a splendid realization of the script. Shakespeare's play, set in the ancient world, is about a pair of identical twin boys and their servants, also identical twin boys, who were all shipwrecked by a storm at sea. Everyone survived, but both sets of twins and their parents were separated. The master-servant pairs grew up in different cities. When both sets of twins end up in the same place, mistaken identities produce hilarity. In Bell's version, a tsunami at a California truck stop splits up a family with identical twin sons and identical twin daughters. The father raises a son and a daughter in one city. The mother does the same in another. Neither half of the family knows that the other survived the catastrophe. After seven years, the families meet again at another truck stop on their way to Missouri, where they plan to view the 2017 eclipse in the zone of totality. Productions of the Comedy of Errors frequently cast one actor as both masters and another as both servants. That approach would have been confusing in a play for young audiences, but the festival's production draws on the tradition by casting Michael James Reed as both the father and the mother. The mother's wig and the vivid characterization of both parents make them easily distinguishable in Reed's virtuosic performance. The brothers and sisters are unquestionably kids of this time, thanks to Bell's script and the delightfully youthful performances by Erica Flowers Roberts, Carl Hawkins, Ryan Lawson Meskey, and Jen Sinan. They can pass as twins, thanks to Michelle Friedman Seiler's flamboyant costumes. Marjorie and Peter Speck's scenic design is flashy and flexible and well supported by Joe Clapper's lighting and Kareem Deem's sound in the works has been a great success. I hope it's back next year. Yeah, and this was delightful, colorful, cartoonish, and very, very clever. I really enjoyed it.